Hello Scorpio and welcome to your June tarot reading. Thank you so much for your patience and for joining me today. So the readings of June are a little late, <laughs> of course. And since I read for the present moment, I feel like it's just nice to have readings coming out throughout the month. So I'm not rushing any readings this month. And I appreciate, again, your patience and your support. So how can we prepare for the energy that's on the way? And how can we see what is in front of us? This is how I read cards. It's not for everyone, but it is how I reclaim my power with this tool that so many people use in many different ways. So Scorpio, let's see what is the general energy for you. June 2023, I cannot believe we're halfway done almost with the year. Crazy to think about this, seriously. Scorpio. Okay, Page of Cups. Is there another card wanting to come through as general energy? Okay, let's see what we have here. Ace of Sword at the bottom of the deck. So a new perspective. We have the King of Wands and the Page of Cups. I love that. The combination of water and fire working together. Like water boiling in a cauldron. There's something simmering, something that's almost ready. You can smell it. You can feel it. And with the Page of Cups, this card is our inner child. To me, it always felt like it was the inner little one or this energy of wanting to have fun, not wanting to take ourselves too seriously. And the King of Wands is our magic. Very connected to giving and receiving. You know, when you look at the wands in the tarot, it is the only object that is living. The cups is just, you know, a cup, a pentacle, a sword, but a wand is a living thing, you know? It grows, just it's like a tree. A tree, it gives oxygen, but it receives the sun. So, King of Wands is like a master at giving and receiving and that exchange of magic. It's, it's just such a potent energy. So something is asking you to trust this inner power that you have and to not take yourself too seriously along the way. So there's this beautiful balance here of you having fun this month, but also accomplishing big things. So we're going to see what this is all about. Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever connection you have with the Scorpio energy, you are welcome here. And I am a Scorpio rising, by the way. And I think Pluto, like so many of you guys. Scorpio, Scorpio. Let's see what we have here. Queen of Pentacles. So, of course, without the queens, there's no king. Without the page, there's no king. So, I'm not surprised a queen is already uh, showing up. So, there's something about nurturing the day-to-day. -day. The queen, especially of Pentacles, is inviting us to find the magic in the day-to-day, -day, in the mundane. So again, this month, it's about having fun, but finding ways to be present and utilize your magic, whatever that means for you, your power, your energy to create something in the day to day. Queen of Pentacles, you know, she nurtures our garden. She nurtures this pentacles. She knows how to receive abundance. She knows how to take care of her body, take care of her finances. You are in control, Scorpio. This is definitely something I'm sensing now. There's this beautiful balance between your energy, your body, your awareness. There's just a lot of power and a lot of control in your hands. So what are you going to do with that? You know, there's this call for adventure and there's also this call for stability. 
and feeling good, which is, you know, kind of the base for a lot of people, kind of <laughs> foundation for a lot of people. But what are you going to do with this fire, with this passion, with this excitement that you have right now? How are you going to utilize that in the day to day? And look at that. We have the full gang, full gang, king, page, knight, and queen. And as I said earlier, you know, the king energy, to be in the king energy, we need all of this. We need the nurturance of the queen. We need the seed, the initiation of the page. And we need the movement and the awareness of the knights. So this feels like a class on the court cards. But, you know, if you're into tarot, it's going to be a good one for you guys. So Knight of Cups says, can you show yourself some grace? on a bad day. This is what is coming up for me right now. So this month is going to be about navigating, having a lot of energy, getting probably a lot of invitation to do things, and still wanted to create that good foundation. There's definitely a lot on your mind, Scorpio. There's definitely a lot on your to-do list. Let me know in the comments. Are you having to serve or show up for a lot of people, it, it seems like it's that way. There could be someone who needs you for advice, a client that needs you for something, someone requesting, you know, your help or information around something. It feels like you're being pulled in all direction. But what you truly want right now is to enjoy yourself. But there's so much to do. So are you planning something? Are you busier than you've ever been i don't know what this is about but i love that it's very balanced that even if life gets crazy you can still show yourself some grace you can still you know um listen to your heart listen to what your body wants we have another night here this is so interesting so again there's something about fire that's coming through Fire in the tarot and just the, the wands are so interesting. Again, they are so unique. And there's this energy of giving and receiving. And with the strength card and the infinity loop on top of this person's head, this is it. This is co-creation with someone or with even your spirit guides, the universe, whatever you believe in. But there's definitely a lot of co-creation this month for you. Your relationships um, there could be a little check-in around that. Like, who am I comfortable around? Who do I feel I can be my true authentic self around? Who am I having fun with? Um, who do I want to keep around? And you guys are very loyal. I always talk about the loyalty of Scorpio because I, I feel like it is so overlooked when we talk about you guys and the Scorpio energy. You are incredibly loyal and I truly believe that you are always following your heart in all situation. And here again, there's this check in around relationship. Do I feel like my energy, my love, my care has been reciprocated with that person? So I don't know why I'm sensing there's moving on in your energy, but I think you are moving on with love, choosing yourself, moving on because of self-love, noticing that maybe there's, again, something that is not being reciprocated. It could be at work, you know, it could be that your boss does not see you, appreciate you. It could be a friend, it could be a lover, a neighbor, whoever it is, family member, it could be anyone, but there's a specific relationship, maybe a couple, what I'm seeing here, that you are moving on from with confidence and it feels good. And that comes from you learning so much about yourself, from you truly, truly working, moving in the swirl from the heart. You know, the knights and the tarot are about how we move in the world. And with the strain card here, it's connected to the heart space. So there's a shift this month in how you use, how you utilize your, again, fire, your energy. 
there's so much happening for you energetically and probably in the material world that you're going to have to choose what you prioritize. What is the most important thing for you? What do you value the most? What makes you feel good? Those are all questions that you're going to be asking yourself throughout the month. So th this is like a deep month. <laughs> this is like I'm just starting this reading and there's so much coming through. So much coming through. It feels like you're going to be <sighs> checking things off your list. Like, okay, I experienced fear around this relationship. Now I dealt with that. I felt like this relationship was... You know, there was a conversation that needed to have, you know, checking off those. Lists. And at the end of the month, it feels like, yeah, look at that hierophant here. It feels like you're going to be able to communicate from a place of love, from a place of confidence. I like that. Okay. Magician is here and the seven of cups, which is one of your energy Venus in Scorpio, seven of cups. Okay. So at the heart of this reading... Again, reciprocity, co-creating. This is the center card of your reading. And the magician, another infinity loop is on top of its head. And also, this card is very connected to the Queen of Pentacles. Notice how similar they are dressed. The color, the garden, everything. So the Queen of Pentacles, the magic really flows through her. She understands her power. And the magician co-creates and bring that magic and that energy out of him. And I'm saying she, him, whatever, you know, gender. It's not about gender. But the magician, again, co-creates. The magician has everything he needs to create the future he wants. He is very rooted also in the present moment. But there's this excitement like, okay, there's something new I'm about to start. I'm excited about that. I want to co-create. I want to work with people. This is an amazing month for collaboration. As long as you ask yourself the right questions. Collaborating with people that make you feel good, make you feel seen. People that reciprocate your energy. So remember what I said earlier about, you know, the wands and the trees. You know, like trees are such a good example of giving oxygen and also receiving sun and needing that exchange. So there's something here about that. It's not that you are waiting for something in return of your time and what you give, but it's just fair. So there's going to be a lot of collaboration. There could be growth. It could bring you abundance, confidence, and also Sat, it, it's like you're emotionally satisfied in the month of June. Very deep things and deep subjects. And with the Seven of Cups, this is it. There's this opportunity that opens up for you guys. There is a possibility that you had no idea existed. And now it's showing up. So considering your options, and when I see this card... I always suggest and invite the, the person getting the reading to not make a quick decision. If someone is being offered to you, take the time to digest the invitation. Take the time maybe to see how it feels. You know, the cups are a lot about how we feel. So being in, in, in emotionally intelligent, like, okay. That's a great invitation, but I still want to keep my options open and I want to digest this. I want to sleep on it, maybe have a conversation with a good friend um, to see what comes up. Because you never know. Again, there is something that you don't know exists. Seven of Cups has been showing up more than any other cards in my life. This is such an ally for me and I know this card so well. And it is... Most of the time for me personally about me waiting for something, I truly believe I want something. I want this thing so bad. And there's something new showing up. And the thing I thought was so good for me, the thought I, you know, this thing I was so obsessed with, now it's like, wow, 
I don't even think I'm aligned with that anymore. There's this new option that's opening and I'm very interested and it feels right. So you're gonna know right away. You're gonna know because of how it feels. And that's why there's so much cups showing up here. Okay, Scorpio, two of wands fell out of the deck. Four of wands, another knight. This is very interesting. So we have three knights already. Knights, again, to me are about movement, very connected to our body. So this is going to be a theme for you and definitely a challenge to still have fun and be spontaneous and not take yourself too seriously, but balancing that with being grounded and listening to your body. How does it feel when you get a specific invitation? How does it feel in your body when someone sends you an email? Notice that. Someone we, sometimes we confuse, you know, the big butterflies and the excitement for stress. Just taking the time to pause and asking ourselves, okay, how does this situation make me feel? There's something I do all the time, and I feel like this could be a good advice, um, because there's so much about the body here. When I don't know if it's a yes or a no for me, I have a really hard time making decisions on the spot person. You know, I'm a Taurus sun and a Scorpio rising. So, you know, <laughs> the pure opposites. So I always close my eyes and I ask my body, is it a yes or a no? And if the body pulls to the front, it's gonna be yes or else it's gonna be a no the body really works with us like that. And the first time I did that, I was like, I don't know if it's working. And now this is something I do all the time. It helps us connect, it helps us be grounded. And you're gonna be very surprised how quick your body reacts to going you know, in the front or in the back. Let me know if you've ever done that. And also, I feel like not only we connect with the body by doing that, but there's this you know, there's this woo-woo kind of magical energy about it, which feels like collaborating with spirit, collaborating with the universe. I just, I like it. Maybe it's a little woo-woo for you, but try it out and let me know. So two of wands and four of wands, again, a lot of fire, a lot more energy throughout the month. There's something about your energy level that is just expanding. And maybe, again, it's because you are very balanced between your value, um, your body, what is present, but also having fun and noticing how you feel. With the Four of Wands, this is a very magical energy. I always felt like the middle here was, again, another channel. There's something about that for you this month, Scorpio. You being the channel of something. So what are you creating? How are you collaborating this month? And maybe writing down in your journal collaboration and seeing how it comes up throughout the month. And with the two of wands, this card is, you know, there's water in the back. There's the fire in the water again working together. There's this idea, this image of the soup that's simmering. You can smell it. You want to take your time. You want it to taste good, but it's not ready yet. So considering your options and making sure to pause before making a quick decision. This is something that's going to come up this month for you. Let's pick more cards from another tarot deck and see. Look at that. Another night. So the knights are wanting to come through for you, Scorpio. Definitely a great supportive energy. So how you move in the world, how you take action, how you show up, you know, with other people. Are you being confident? Are you aware of how you speak, of how much you give? There could be a moment throughout the month where you're like, I give too much and I'm just fed up. So again, making sure that your connections and the things that you do and how you show up is kind of reciprocated because you deserve it. Not because you're needy or because you're selfish. It doesn't have any connections to that. Wanting to receive is 
it's a good thing. It's a very mature thing in my opinion because it's very uncomfortable for humans to receive in general. But there's something this month about you finally getting what you want. And it could be happening after a long time of just hoping, hoping, um, feeling that something good is on the way. Look at that. Two of Wands is all again at the bottom of the deck. We have Two of Swords in the reverse. We have the, the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Dead Guard, which is your energy. So again, after a long period of contemplation, after learning to listen, receiving, there's just something that's moving. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, is moving in your favor. And there's something very mystical and mysterious about your reading. I don't know why, but this is kind of confirming it for me. I felt it right away with the queen of pentacles, king of wands, very magical energy. Not only you're learning to find the magic and beauty in the mundane, in the things that you have to do on your list, you know, maybe you're dealing with a lot of clients at work and maybe you're having to do a lot of repetitive stuff for school, for work, just at home. But you're learning to find the beauty and magic in that. And I don't know how you do it, but you're doing good and it's helping you move forward. I like that. Also, communication is very important. We saw the Hierophant earlier. The Hierophant is right here also facing the Chariot of Death. Are you willing to take the risk? Do you want adventure enough that you're willing to take a risk? Not a crazy risk, of course. I'm never here to invite you to do something crazy. It's just, no, it's not my place to do that. And I don't suggest it. But this is a message that's coming up for you guys. Are you wanting adventure and newness enough? Are you ready enough? I don't know why I'm sensing that. And we have a king here. We have the woman from the strain card. We have the hierophant, the sun rising on the horizon. There's something important here. A lot of symbols are going to be showing up for you throughout the month. It could be animals that you see. It could be repetitive numbers. Uh, the symbol of infinity. There's like a lot of symbols coming through um, throughout the month. Little signs. And this, those are just going to be confirmation for you that you're on the right track. But again, do you want this enough? This is something, a message that will come out for you this month. Maybe someone saying, do you really want this? Are you ready for this truly? Maybe you're going to ask that to yourself. But this is an important thing. I don't know why. But it's like I'm sensing, are you ready? Let's do this. This is the time. And let's pick. I want to pick a card to clarify the strength card. What is the important message of the strength card? Two cards, okay. We have all court cards. I've never seen so many court cards in a reading and I love it. I love it. So King of Cups, Page of Swords, keep an open heart and stay curious. You know, I just talked about, are you ready for adventure? Do you want this newness, this new adventure? I think you're going on an adventure sooner than later, probably July, August. This one could be the preparation, getting ready to go on a new adventure. Uh, again, keep your options open because maybe you don't even know this is a possibility. Page of Swords is very curious, is very excited for whatever challenge is on the way. It's like, I trust in myself. I trust that I'm intelligent enough emotionally and mentally that whatever shows up, I'm going to deal with that shit beautifully. It feels like you're releasing fear. And this is a big message that's coming up right now. You are releasing the fear of something. I, I heard the fear of yourself. Um, there's something about you trusting your decision making, trusting that whatever happens, you're going to have control. There's so much control in your energy. And I like that. I like that. And also the King of Cups is here with a little fish around his neck 
So this is an, um, another symbol also for you, water, fish, animals, whatever it means. You could see that in your dream. Um, there's something about having fun, not taking yourself too seriously, going with the flow also, but making sure that your body is in check, making sure that you are not doing crazy things with your money, like, you know, random crazy expenses, because when that option is open to go on an adventure or whatever this option, Mr.'s option is, you want to be secure and you want to be ready. This is the invitation I'm getting. Let's pick a moon card and see what the moon has to say. I love that the magician is at the heart of this reading. Reciprocity, control, power, and again, co-creation. You have everything you need in the present moment for whatever is on the way. We have don't let pride get in the way and communication is key. Okay, very interesting. So I like that. Communication is key. I said it earlier. There's going to be a lot around your relationship. You're going to be challenged many times throughout the month to say what's on your mind and say it in a way that is not from the ego, but from the heart. And that's why this card is here. So this is a challenge. I feel like to be aware of those things like, is this my ego or is this my soul, my heart that that said that or want that or is inviting me into this energy we need to pause you know we're not magicians really like we can embody the energy of the magician but we need to again have the awareness of the queen of pentacles um before making big decisions before saying something uh before exchanging and showing up in the world in a certain way making sure that your values are in check and making sure that you are in check in some way. Um, yeah, so there's a lot for you, Scorpio. I'm sending love. You know you can join me on Patreon. I do weekly mystery readings. I do so much there. I teach a soulful way of reading the cards. If you love my style, if you want to know more about the cards, I have so many lessons there for you. You can join for one month and binge all the content if you want. And you can interact with me and ask me questions there. So take care, Scorpio, and I'll see you guys very soon for your bonus reading.